for today we will be focusing on releasing any tension, stretching out and strengthening our psoas muscle. So just to recap, our psoas muscles are the major connectors between our torso and our legs. So um, if you tend to have any tightness or any um, weakness in this muscle, you will experience some sort of lower back pain if you um, stand, sit or walk for too long. So before we start, you might just want to keep either a block or a thick book by your side and we would also need a bolster or two big pillows. Now we can dive right in. So sitting in our most comfortable position, very gently closing our eyes. Taking some time here just to settle in. We want to be able to use this practice to connect with our mind, our body and our breath. Setting your intention for your practice today. Checking in with our breath placing our right palm over our chest, left palm over the lower belly. As we inhale, allowing the chest to expand, followed by expanding your lower belly. Exhale, chest sinks in, and completing your exhalation by pulling your belly in towards your spine. With our inhalation, creating more space in the body. With every exhalation, releasing any kind of unnecessary tension that we are holding. At the end of your exhalation, releasing your palms back down. Can we start to draw semicircles with our chin? Very slowly coming right back to center, opening our eyes with a few blinks. Now starting to draw circles with our hips, moving in your most comfortable way. And going the other way around. Gently coming all the way back to center. In our next inhalation, can we start to pull the belly in, lifting our fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling, lifting any weight off your lower back. Five long breaths here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Perfect, releasing our hands down. Now the very first posture, 
we're going to go into today would be down on the mat. So you can either grab onto your block or your bolster, keeping it by your side. We're going to lie all the way back. Now, very gently lifting your hips up, we're going to place the support under your sacrum. So not your mid back, push it down a little to your sacrum. And then we are going to lift both our feet up towards the ceiling. Now, trying your best to relax, breathing comfortably. This posture is very effective in helping us release any tension in that lower back. Also, if you're feeling any tiredness or swelling in your feet, your ankle, calves or knees, please try out this posture. We'll take five more breaths. At the end of your next exhalation, can we very gently release our feet back down, lifting your hips up very slowly, taking the support away. We can start to turn to our side and guide ourselves all the way up. Now, crossing your ankles, we're going to come up onto all fours, palms and our knees. We're going to go into our cat cow stretch. So having your shoulders in line with your wrist, inhale, can we start to round our chest forward, lifting our tailbone up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rounding your spine, tailbone down, belly in, chin to your chest. Inhale, rounding forward, slow controlled movements, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more repetitions, inhale, Inhale and exhale. Very gently coming back to center, back to a neutral spine. And our next inhalation, we're going to extend the right leg back, coming into our extended tabletop posture. We're going to inhale, lift the right foot up. Now, flexing your right foot in, can we take the conscious effort to squeeze the right bum, right thigh? Lifting your weight up towards the ceiling. We will take 10 counts here. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Now very slowly crossing the right leg over to the left side. Can we gently gaze over to the left, looking back towards the right foot? We'll take another five more breaths here. Inhale, can we lift all the way back up and exhale, lowering our knee back down. Now switching over, inhale, extend the left leg back and then lift it right up, flexing the foot in towards you, squeezing the left bum, your left thigh, keep the belly in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Can we cross over to the right side? Now gently gazing over to the right, looking back towards your left foot. Another 5 breaths here. Gently coming all the way back to center. Perfect. Now keeping your palms shoulder width apart, index fingers parallel to one another. Can we start to tuck the toes in on an exhalation, pulling the belly in, lifting up into your downward facing dog? Can we start to pedal our feet, breathing very comfortably, focusing on warming up your ankles? your calves, hamstrings, your lower back, shoulders, and your wrist. Three, two, and one now gazing forward we're going to very gently lower our knees down now taking it into our supported child's pose we're going to have our knees met with a part big toes touching one another now pushing ourselves all the way back onto our heels we're going to grab onto either our bolster or the pillows we're going to place them in front of us and very slowly lying all the way over turning our head to the side resting your face down the side of your face down onto the bolster your elbows down onto the mat now we're going to just breathe relaxing enjoying the stretch that you're getting in the tops of your feet your ankles, your lower back, maybe even in the shoulders.
really gently turning our head over to the other side. Maybe taking a couple more breaths here. Next inhalation, we can start to very slowly guide ourselves all the way back up onto all fours, bringing our knees back in alignment with our hips. We can keep the bolster aside, taking some time here to sway a little side to side. Next, we'll be going into our lizard pose. So that can get a little um, intense, can be quite a deep stretch for you. So we might be needing our support. So just keeping the block or a book by your side. Now we're going to very slowly shift our right foot to the outside of our right palm. Now, feel free to shift your left knee back a little, creating more space for yourself. Something to take note of, making sure your right knee doesn't cross over the right ankle, trying to keep it in line. Now we're going to very slowly pop that left knee up. We're going to just rock a little back and forth, preparing ourselves for the stretch. Gently coming back to center, we're going to very slowly drop the left knee down. We can either drop our elbows down onto the mat or you can grab onto your support and drop your elbows down onto the block instead. Perfect. Now, if this is still feeling comfortable for you, you can start to lift your left knee up high. Engaging the left glute, squeezing your left bum. We're going to take a whole minute here, breathing. Staying very strong. If it gets too intense, feel free to take a step back. You can even come up onto your palms if you need to. Breathe. We'll take five more breaths here, four, three, two, and one. Very gently coming down into our knees, up onto our palms, and we're going to shift our right foot taking some time here can we once again just sway a little side to side breathing perfect now switching over to the other side we're going to shift our 
left foot to the outside of our left palm. Feel free to shift your right knee back a little if you need to. Try to keep the left knee in line with your left ankle. Now, popping the right knee up, we can move a little back and forth. Just preparing yourself for the stretch. Breathing. Now feel free to drop your right knee down onto the ground and drop your elbows either down onto the block or onto the mat, whichever works for you. We'll be taking a whole minute here, breathing. Keep pushing through your arms. We'll take another five more breaths, four, three, two, and one up onto our palms, very gently guiding our left foot back. Now once again, swaying a little side to side. And we're going to lift ourselves up into our downward dog, just to stretch the legs out, breathing. We'll take five long breaths here. Four, three, two, and one. Now dropping the knees down, very last posture. We're going to come into our mermaid pose. So we're going to have both our knees pointing over to your right side, getting the front of your left thigh parallel to the front of your mat. Now grabbing onto either your pillows or your bolster, placing it in front of you. We're going to have both palms on either side, starting to very slowly twist. Lowering ourselves down, turning your head over to the left side and resting your elbows down onto the ground. Now closing your eyes and just relax.
be turning our head over to the right side. Very slowly starting to guide ourselves all the way back up. Now we're going to switch over to the other side. So both knees over to your left. Adjusting the pillow a little. And then palms on either side. We're going to twist all the way around, turning our head to the right, releasing the elbows down. Very slowly turning our head over to the left side.
everything starts very slowly. Think a lot of toes. And get slight movement to our fingers. guiding ourselves all the way up into our comfortable seated position. We're going to rub our palms together, massaging the back of our neck. our shoulders lower back hips and our knees before we end the session can we take a moment here to remind ourselves of three reasons why we are feeling very grateful at this present moment. Giving our thank you from deep within. Gently bringing both palms to heart center and opening our eyes with a few blinks. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Please rest well, drink lots of water and nourish your body and I'll see you very soon.